top of Tmart, a real estate investment limited has clocked 10 to celebrate its anniversary. The company held a walk over the weekend to enlighten the public on the benefits of regular exercise. The management says it's committed to giving value to people by way of providing quality and affordable homes, as well as redefining the landscape of Nigeria. Property Mars Health Walk begins from the company's operation base in Magodo Estate in Lagos and then goes through its environs covering CMG Road, Omole Phase 2 Link Bridge. The Secretariat allows that and back to the company's premises. That is followed by a session of free medical checkup for staff and residents. So this is about building a, a formidable healthcare system, a formidable uh, environment where people can live and play at the same time and have an all-rounder lifestyle. According to the group managing director of Property Mart, the journey of the last 10 years has been filled with ups and downs, but it's worth celebrating because the prospects remain bright. It is just the beginning. It's also a reminder of people with the work that the journey ahead is long. Endurance is required. Strength is required. Stability is required. That as a company, we may have to walk. We may have to run when we need to run. We may have to fly when we need to fly. So we want to give people value and we want the value to be such that, you know, as you buy from us and then the years roll by, you will be proud of the fact that you bought from us because we're adding value to you. The value of your investments is increasing. Despite its successes, the group managing director believes there's more to offer to its customers. And what we are saying to our customer is, for another, for another 10 years, it's going to be better than when we started. That we will be more committed to them. We will be more committed to them. Like the benefits that come with regular exercising, Property Mart says it has brought happiness to people through its products and services and hopes to celebrate more years of advancing lives by delivering the best in the class of real estate investment solutions. Still in Lagos, the managing director of Primero Transport Services Limited, Mr. Fola Tinubu, says an additional 100 bus rapid transit vehicles would be deployed to the metropolis before the end of the year. This, he says, will help reduce the waiting period of passengers at bus terminals and offer better services to the people of Lagos State. Mr. Tinubu said this at a meeting with journalists at the Majidu Depot in Ikorudu, Lagos. Primero Transport Services Limited is a privately run company that operates the popular Blue Bus Rapid Transit BRT vehicles around Lagos State. The company's head office and biggest depot is located at Majidu in the Ikordu area of Lagos State. The company is celebrating three years of successful operation in the state. This depot that sits on a total of seven hectares of land does not house all 434 large buses. Other terminals are in Agric, TBS and Mile 12. Currently, 250 BRT buses ply the Ikorodu to Tafabelewa Square routes. And our goal is to increase that to about 350 by end of the month, early next month. We may revamping the buses and pushing more buses out. So we'll continue to revamp and you know we'll continue to push more buses out as we you know go along. The Majidun Depot houses an ultra-modern state-of-the-art maintenance workshop, automated bus wash, fuel storage facility, and administrative offices. Over the years, a number of challenges have arisen with the transport servicing company. The management says they are dealing with the problems. The buses going up and down, they get into potholes, they get into, uh, you know, it tires. 
you know, they're supposed to last you six to nine months. You discover last you made, you know, three, four months. So there's so many infrastructure and or issues that, you know, that is really out of our control. Uh, but look, it is what it is. You know, we're all Nigerians. Nobody's going to fix Nigeria for us. We have to do it ourselves, so we, have, we just have to do, make the best of it. Even with the numerous challenges, Primero remains committed to offering safe, comfortable, affordable and reliable services to Lagosians. The head of the civil service of the Federation believes the success recorded in Rwanda's public service can be replicated in Nigeria if those at the grassroots lead the charge. She stated this at an eight-day learning visit to Rwanda with 53 delegates from the state civil service of Adamawa, Yobe and Bronu State. The visit is to afford the civil servants an opportunity to study the Rwandan public service and replicate it in Nigeria. Our correspondent Kayla Megua is there and has this report. Adamawa, Yobe and Bruno states have been worse hit by the Boko Haram insurgency. And among the casualties of this war is the civil service structure in these states. As relative calm returns to the region, the head of the civil service of the Federation believes the best model to emulate in reviving the civil service is the Rwandan public service model. The eight-day learning visit begins with a visit to the Nigerian High Commissioner to Rwanda. The people here are friendly. Yes, they are friendly, but they don't want to be rushed. <coughs> they don't want to be harassed. Uh, hawking on the street is not allowed. And if you go around, you will never see anybody opening a small shop by the roadside because they want to maintain that neatness. Next is a visit to the Rwanda Cooperative Initiative, which seeks mutual development among African countries through cooperation. The Rwanda Cooperation Initiative is surfing on that uh, philosophy. How can we cooperate between African countries? And again, look to what used to work and of course inject some modernity into that. Then the delegation made their way to the Rwandan Ministry of Public Service and Labor, where the permanent secretary spoke on the deliberate post-genocide policies adopted by the ministry, which led to the Rwandan public service success story. One solution that has worked here can work in Nigeria. The solution that has worked in Nigeria can work here. Just a few customization. Which, which actually would not be necessarily the case if you borrow from uh, the West. The head of the civil service of the Federation expressed optimism that the Rwandan civil service model can be adopted in Nigeria despite the country's peculiar problems. In Nigeria, we can make those same three choices that the Rwandan uh, people have made. One, the choice to stay together as one nation. Two, the choice to be accountable to ourselves, our own selves, Nigerians. And three, the choice to think big, to think outside the box. Can the northeastern part of Nigeria be rebuilt? after the tragedy of Boko Haram. In the years to come, we will see if what the civil servants from Adamawa, Yobe and Borno State have learned today and for the next eight days in Rwanda will be replicated in Northeast Nigeria to give it the development and reform which it badly needs. Kayla Megwa, Channel Television News. The Upper Legislative Chamber is embarking on a probe and Anne will be giving us the details on business news. You first, First Bank. Thank you, Melinda, and welcome to Business News. The Senate is set to investigate the diversion of $1.5 billion from the Nigerian liquefied natural gas dividend by the NNPC to help build the shortfalls between the landing cost and pump price of premium motor spirit petrol. Raising a point of order during Tuesday's legislative proceedings, the chairman of the Committee on Gas, Senator Bassi Akwan, is asking the upper chamber to give approval for the committee to investigate the withdrawal 
and the payments. What has been trending in the newspapers and the social media on the unauthorized withdrawal of one point, one, over $1 billion from the proceeds of LLNG dividends account by the NMPC. What? Mr. President, the NLNG dividend account proceeds belongs to the three tiers of government and comes under the Consolidated Revenue Funds account. Therefore, Mr. President, any unauthorized withdrawal from this account without the approval of the National Assembly or any other structure of government is therefore deemed to be illegal, Mr. President. I therefore seek the leave of Mr. President that to allow the Senate Committee on Gas investigate this withdrawal and other withdrawals and the way and manner the accounts of LNG proceeds is treated by the NMPC and report back to the Senate, Mr. President. Let's talk about the latest survey by Reuters. It shows that Nigerian crude cargo differentials from December delivery remain unchanged today, as potential buyers say that the prices offered were too high on the available amount of unsold crude. However, traders are saying they believe around 10 cargos were left from Nigeria's loading program for December. Exxon and Oando were reported to have offered December loading cargos at premiums of $1.75 a barrel to the dated Brent price with no change in levels seen on Monday. A former new mayor of New York and a founder of Bloomberg LP, Michael Bloomberg, says the world needs to do more to harness the power of the private sector to help address the big challenges we face. The billionaire businessman was speaking at the opening of a two-day Bloomberg New Economy Forum in Singapore, where some 400 business and government leaders from 60 countries are gathered. Mr. Bloomberg says the forum talks will be followed by action by finding new partnerships that will help address inclusive economy, equip people with skills and climate change, and ensure equal opportunities for women. The former New York mayor says the forum will also become an annual gathering that will build a community of people working on issues at which the private sector will play a critical role. We'll go to Ogun State now, where the governor, Ibikonle Amosu, has approved the immediate employment of at least 100 nurses and several medical doctors into government hospitals across the state. He gave the approval during the Treasury Board meeting of the 2019 budget at the governor's office in Abeokuta, the state capital. This is the very, uh, the last opportunity to, for charging when we are having Treasury Board meeting like this, in the preparation to our budget. So I want to charge all of us to please work more. When you work more, it will not be even an issue to pay salary. Because unless we work more, we make money, then I don't want to subject ourselves to waiting for federal government before we pay. We are open state. God has helped us. And I know that by the time all these things we are doing are in place, we will not have problems. Despite a mixed sectoral performance and negative market breath, the domestic bulls lost today or closed today's session with an upswing from Monday's brief sell-off. Tanya Lashibawali has the details for us. Welcome to the stock market report. The domestic stock market ends Tuesday's session with a rebound as fresh bargain hunting for high value equities lifted the all share index by 0.33% from a previous 0.24% drop. This comes amid a mixed sectoral performance with gains recorded by components of the consumer and industrial goods against losses from the insurance, banking, and the oil and gas sector. 14 gainers led mostly by Cement Company of Northern Nigeria. Nigeria contributed 38 billion naira to the total value of listed equities against profit taken from three losers led by Fitzen Healthcare. In contrast to Monday's session, total volume of shares traded for Tuesday was slightly lower by 8.18 million units to 149.65 million units, while Fidelity Bank, Regency Alliance and GT Bank emerged as top three most patronized stocks. And that's the Stock Market Report. I'm Tenyola Shuboali. Thank 
you, Tenio Lau. Well, let's see how other markets around the world fared at the close of business today. That's business news for tonight. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Anne Owawadu. It's back to you, Melinda. You first. First bank. Many thanks, Anne. Still ahead on the news at 10. Red Star Belgrade Stun Liverpool in the UEFA Champions League as match day four produces exciting results across Europe. That's on sports news. Stay with us.